Hmm? Job. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm -hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Come here. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! Jock! No. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Oh, me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruined everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is. Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me. To the chariot. Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away. Come on, Jock, get in. Hurry, we're going to lose him. He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock. Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in The Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> It's uncanny! <laughs> oh dear, poor Jock must think we're batting. Oh, don't be silly. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. I hear that behind... Oh, I won't! Jock, do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. What on earth will we feed the boat? Mrs. Thornhill was throwing herself at the cars earlier. You probably eat sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if he wants me? Find out! He's going into the car park! The car park! No worries, mate! Oh, I hope he likes us! How could he not? This lockup you've prepared sounds charming! Just be yourself, Mrs. Thornhill. Oh, my giddy aunt! Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. You have to lower the tone. This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunts you used to do. And we saw you're up for governor of San Andreas. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. Little by little, I'm tiptoeing. Is he going through the hospital? Oh, my Lord! Hold on to your corsets! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Bloody hell! Such a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind... Oh, come here, you! Come on! Come on! Let me meet your biggest fan! Ah. Oh, fucking crazy! Oh, it's Get off me! me. <laughs> You're good to go! Ah, a true gentleman! This is so exciting! Nut jobs. 